hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. There are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it. Have you seen that pattern? You labor, there are people who have raised others. There are people in Nigeria, almost every great name, they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you. It's a spirit. It's a pattern. They sit over territories. Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Sanakata bakatas koto prende kata. Kileis keni matas koto prende katiya. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I would not destroy them. Hallelujah. Let me finish because we are going to pray tonight. Worship him, get ready. You will sing that my song for me again. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Listen, you have to say enough is enough. If not for your sake, for your children on board. I've gone through the pain already. Let innocent people not go through this again. I've gone through the poverty. I went through the pain of idolatry. I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakata bakatos. Kebrente ketes koto baskadia. Embre keta. Rekete koto koto tetea. Rebas koto shanakata miyakata. Someone pray. You are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Shadakata bakatos, eprokotos koto begete lakapa. Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents, no matter the investment. It's not that they are bad. They find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies, they return with shame, wasting your money and your time. Remember what I taught you. He continued further. If and when unhindered, evil will always continue further. Hear me. Let me tell you this. I made up my mind and I made a covenant with God that everything I've suffered in my life, it ends with me. My children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments 
Let it end with me. Let it end with me. The poverty, the failure, the limitations. Let it end here. Thus far have you come. No further shall you go. Pray. 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 Scatteta tosco to pregeta. Embreke tosco to pregeta legeta. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Please sit down. Just help those under the anointing. Now hear me please. Don't be distracted. We are praying. I want you right now as you are seated. In one minute. Study the patterns you have seen in your family. Just think about it honestly. Study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from. There are regions that have the spirit of anger. There are regions that have the spirit of disunity. There are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility. It's the women that serve the men. There are regions that have, help them please. Habashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. the spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes I know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar oh, oh, oh. Hear me please listen carefully listen it was from zaria that the lord sent me here there is a spirit over that region you start a walk it does not last more than three years something must happen that brings you down you may still be there but you never maintain the texture of your glory there are regions like that I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors no matter how anointed you are in this end times if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you you may not last i tell you the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise Please sit down. Controlling powers. I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared. 
and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like Leviathan looking like 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 a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring God's people into abundance and I saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory rise up on your feet let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of jesus i decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent i stand by the grace of god and we bring an end to it now yes. hear me please i want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and i will teach you but you can start with your family he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not when you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the god of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray god reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray In the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life. You will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it. You will speak over regions and territories and it will be so. Even by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I agree with you, whatever burden you came here with. Every service is a miracle service. There might be an official season, but every service, once there is faith and hunger, it is a miracle service. Therefore, I agree with you that everything you came here trusting God for, I release my faith with you. May it become your testimony this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to pray and say, Father, the power of resurrection, let it speak in my life right now. Total victory. Lift your voice and pray. The culmination of it will be when the trumpet blasts. But there are measures of it that have been given unto us to experience right now. Go ahead and pray. The power of resurrection, it must work in my life. That power that raised Christ from the dead.
Someone is praying. That I may know you and that I may walk in the power of your resurrection. The power of resurrection. Bringing life and vitality to my body. The power of resurrection. Keeping me alive all through the moments of my assignment. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Up from the grave he arose. With the mighty triumph o'er his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain. And he leaves forever with his saints to reign. He arose. He arose. Last prayer point. Everything dead in my destiny because he arose. I command you by the power of resurrection. Arise now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My health that is dead or dying arise now is someone praying because he arose from the grave everything locked up in the grave finances opportunities my destiny i command you by the power of resurrection like lazarus comfort new doors that will give me an opportunity to serve his majesty come forth go ahead and declare please pray please pray please pray, please pray. make meaning of your Easter because he arose I decree and declare I arise spiritually I arise financially I arise destiny wise I arise and every power of the grave every power of the grave every grave cloth over my life every grave cloth over my ministry are you praying every grave cloth over my family my children pray I command you, give way right now. I lose those grave clothes. If he arose, then I arise. If he arose, then I arise. Pray over every challenge in your life. Financial challenges, health challenges. Because he arose, I arise. Refuse to remain in the grave. He is risen. The doctrine of resurrection demands that like he arose, you also arise. Same power that conquered the earth lives in me ah, lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me prophesy over your destiny
listen i want to prophesy and declare and activate that power of resurrection now that you are still alive there are still other things that are dead and you can be alive and something around your life is now dead i want to speak believe it that in the name of jesus dead finances let the power of resurrection cause you to come back to life now dead relationships come back to life now dead opportunities come back to life now dead health conditions hear me anyone here who is sick in your body and the devil is already trying to see that he deteriorates your body i command that dead organ to come back to life now dead dreams dreams that god gave you but for some reason they have died it comes back to life now things abilities that have died that god gave you to bring you increase to bring you significance i decree and declare they come back to life now i hear me anyone wearing any grave clothes in the realm of the spirit by the power that raised christ from the dead i lose you now go free I lose you now, go free. I lose you now, go free. I lose you now, go free. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Any family here represented that has a loved one that is not saved, we release angels to those houses. We release angels to those houses. Supernatural encounters through dreams and visions in the name of jesus christ hear me please anyone having dreams of untimely death you keep seeing yourself with dead people you keep seeing yourself dreaming or maybe prophetic words have been coming be careful i see you dying i want to declare to you by reason of the power of death nothing takes you until your assignment is over I repeat, nothing takes you until your assignment is over. Two more prayers. Everyone here under the yoke of the spirit of fear, you can't live your life freely because you are afraid. What if I go out and I die? What if I come and I die? What if I take a plane and it crashes? What if I go by road and something happens? I command that spirit of death that comes through fear to live your life now. In the name of Jesus. The works of your hands, whatever has died, hear the word of the Lord. I bring to you the resurrection power hear me if the grave could not stop Jesus from coming back to life I transport anything that needs to come from the realm of the spirit into this physical realm by the resurrection power let it appear in your physical realm here hear me if Jesus could leave one dimension into another then every blessing that you need locked up in the realm of the spirit i pull it down to manifest in the physical realm in the name of jesus say after me very loud and clear say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am a child of god born of the word and born of the spirit i believe that jesus walked upon the earth i believe he died i believe he was buried 
I believe he went to the place of the dead. I believe he defeated Satan, sin, hell, and the grave. I believe he resurrected by the glory of the Father. I believe that he ascended to heaven. I believe he is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for me. I believe that I am victorious in this life and hereafter. No more fear, no more limitations, no more anxiety. I am victorious today and victorious always. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Hallelujah. Look, let me tell you, when God decides to place his grace upon your life, your life becomes an unending wonder. I want to pray from the depth of my heart. This is my assignment. I'm not preaching. Mine is for you to receive. If you like, you can look around and be doubting. If you like, you can open your heart sincerely and receive and allow God to change your life. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, May the mantle, the unction, the anointing that distinguishes you and compels men to come and bless you. I release that grace upon you now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Upon your head, receive it now. Upon your hands, receive it now. Upon your feet, receive it now. One more time. Upon your head, receive it now. Upon your hands, receive it now. Upon your feet, receive it now. I say it again. Upon your head, receive it now. Upon your hands, receive it now. And upon your feet, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. The grace upon your head is for illumination and understanding. The grace upon your hand is for productivity. And the grace upon your feet is for direction and speed. Now you understand what I'm releasing. In the name of Jesus, upon your head, let this grace rest upon you. Upon your hands, may this grace rest upon you. Upon your feet, let this grace rest upon you. Koinonia, I declare one more time. Upon your head, may this grace rest upon you. Extraordinary illumination by the Spirit. Upon your hands, may this grace rest upon you. And upon your feet, receive speed and direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, and I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your adversary will not be able to gainsay nor resist. I place something upon you that from today as you speak in the name of Jesus, those who have what it takes to bless you, may they hear you. As you speak, those who have what it takes to help you, may they hear you. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 27 and verse 22, they were with Paul going to a place called Crete and there was a storm. And the Bible says as a result of that storm, they lost their properties. The ship was about to capsize and they were about to lose their lives. And Paul stood up and said, And now I exhort you be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss. This just came into my spirit now. I want to speak to someone from the way things look right now it looks like you have lost money it looks like you have lost your place you have lost the job but i stand under this apostolic and prophetic mandate and i declare there shall be no loss koinonia global there shall be no loss not of your life not of your properties not of strategic relationships there shall be no loss
there shall be no loss in the name of Jesus I will always make reference to John 5 the man who was crippled for 38 years he was there lying down when Jesus came to him and said do you desire to be healed he said I have no man that was his problem you may have talent but do you have a man to help you you may have your gift but do you have a man every business needs a man every ministry needs a man there are people who are anointed but those to declare them to the nations they have not encountered them I love it every time I declare to call men because let me tell you men are very relevant when it has to do with your rising and your shining are we together no matter how graced and gifted you are even if you are Jesus alone without a man will only leave you in pain and tragedy therefore I decree and declare the strategic men some of you have a lot of men in your life but none of them is strategic enough for your destiny quality strategic men I bring them to your life now quality strategic men I bring them to your life now quality strategic helpers financiers announcers I bring them to your life now hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus louder in the name of Jesus I contend for greater capacity and higher levels of spiritual power as I submit myself to fervent effectual prayer open your mouth and begin to pray Lord as I submit myself to prayer let there be an enlargement in my spirit someone pray an enlargement an enlargement an enlargement increase in capacity the Bible says the fervent effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much. Are you praying? I contend for greater capacity, higher levels of power. Higher levels of unction, higher levels of grace. Grace can be multiplied, peace can be multiplied. Men can expand from within their spirit. Capacity in the spirit. Capacity in the spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. When you place a cup on a table like this and you decide to pour one drum of water into that cup, you are going to waste every other thing that you have poured in minus the size of the cup am i right on that yes the moment the cup gets filled every other thing you are pouring will be a waste hallelujah yes so if you want to receive the more and like you'll be learning there are many things that cannot be captured in your life except and unless on the strength of your capacity god cannot trust you with certain instructions God cannot trust you with certain dimensions. God cannot even trust you with men until this wonderful structure that we're in right now, if the architects would tell you the size of the foundation, the foundation was so constructed to be able to receive this size. Am I right on that? Now, there are times that architects have made mistakes for whatever reason, and they did not pay attention to the foundation and they kept adding structures on a foundation that was not supposed to host that kind of building. And as a result, you will find out that regardless what they did, as far as the quality of the construction is concerned, it will eventually collapse. 
God trusts me with higher levels of wealth, higher levels of grace. That cannot happen except and unless you build capacity. We are going to pray one more time. This prayer holds the key to many people's desire. It's not like God does not want to reach down to you, but your capacity is very small and has remained so. As a man of God, you are trusting God to expand your ministry. God loves you, but he loves those you want him to send it to you. And because your capacity is small, you will not be able to do much. Are we together? One more time, cry, greater capacity, enlarged capacity in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray we're going to pray the second prayer point in Acts chapter 13 and verse 2 Acts 13 verse 2 the Bible says as they ministered to the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Paul for the work I have called them into if they did not submit themselves to prayer and fasting, they would not even know that there was an assignment for them. Hallelujah. We are praying that God would download the prophetic blueprint for the next season of your life. Are we together? Listen to me. Delay is related to confusion. The moment there is clarity, there is speed. Are we together? If you are driving somewhere and you are not sure where to turn to, the first thing you do is reduce your speed so that you do not pass the place. I say it again, delay is related to confusion. You are going to pray, Lord, the prophetic blueprint for my life in this season, I receive it by the Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. The prophetic blueprint for the next level of my life, the prophetic blueprint Shake parus kate prende ke beleke tosh kraka taparaku segete belekosia. The prophetic blueprint for the next level of your ministry, the next level of your impact. Yesterday's instruction may not suffice for today. Your ears must be inclined to hear what he's saying today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9 and 10. But as it is written, I had not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Verse 10. But God had revealed them unto us by his spirit. Is that in your Bible? It says, for the spirit searcheth all things. How many things does he search? All things. He does not search some. He has the exclusive ability to search the mind of the father. Even the deep things of God. The deep things of God. You are going to pray. Holy Spirit, bring to my life the detail for the next level of my life. Bring to my life the details. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go to? Who do I need to meet for the next level of my destiny to be opened? Go ahead and pray. Confusion recycles pain. Action in ignorance will only multiply your pain and waste your energy. The Bible says to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. He said, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Is someone praying? 
the prophetic blueprint for the next level of my life for the next level of my life the prophetic blueprint for the next level of my business for in Jesus mighty name we pray in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and he says now the earth was void and formless and the Spirit of God hovered round the face of the the face of the the face of the verse 2 and God said let there be you see light there and there was light verse 4 now and he saw that the light was good and he divided the light from darkness verse 5 and the light he called day the darkness he called night the evening and the morning were the first day verse 6 and God said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters this is God creating now and let it divide the waters from the waters verse 7 God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament verse 8 it says and God called the firmament above heaven the firmament in the earth you know that one he called seas and the rest verse 9 we'll find somewhere to pray he said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place he's still talking water and dry land say earth say earth are you seeing these elements now and the dry land appeared and it was so verse 10 it says and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called sea and God saw that it was good when you read 11 you can read on and on and God said the earth that has now formed now bring forth vegetation the grass the herb yielding seed the fruit tree yielding fruit after it and you can keep on like that like that like that you keep seeing all of these manifestations every time the supernatural comes it comes through these five conduits they are mysterious elements they do not belong to the earth they were outsourced into the earth that's why none none of these five things experience death light does not die because it is not mortal <laughs> listen carefully Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Sound does not die. Is that true? The earth does not die. Fire does not die. Water does not die. All five of these elements, death has no power over them. If they were earthbound and they were mortal, there would be a way of bringing them to an end. You can't bring light to an end. You can't bring sound to an end. No, you can only stop it from walking within a room. Demon spirits know this. Back again to our herbalist people as we round up. Every time you go to a herbalist, this is the same combination you see. Earth, water, light, then words are spoken. The words is still sound. It's just that unfortunately, this is, is a satanic thing that is done to, to you, are, are we getting the point now? It is not an invention of the herbalist. It is a manipulation of the laws of God. Now, today as believers, it is not necessary to speak to sound, to speak to water. Look at me. It is not necessary to speak to light. I'm not teaching you to do that. All of the powers that were invested in those elements have today been transferred and put in a name. Listen carefully now. Are we together? So the Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names. It says that at the name of Jesus, now you will know what every knee must bow. The knee is not the knee of men. The knee is the knee of things. It's in your Bible. Of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth and then it says every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord that means the power that is in the name of Jesus watch this the power that God put in water the power he put in fire the power he put in light 
all of these powers have now they reside within the office of the Christ when God gives you the name he's giving you dominion over water over fire over elemental forces are you getting what I'm teaching you now so you do not need to go and fetch water or fetch fire or fetch all of these things now I know there is a place of prophetic action, communion and water, whatever it is. I am not saying it's intrinsically wrong, but I'm saying as the believer today, understand when you see people use water and all of that, it is not that what they are doing is not correct. It is that there is a superior approach that is given to the believer now. Are we together? That all of that has been invested in the name of Jesus. So I do not need to go and consult with water and say, water, you have abundance. Give it to me. That abundance is in the name of Jesus. What I would have done before to now sit down and say, water, bring me abundance. Fire, bring me abundance. Light, bring me abundance. I can say in the name of Jesus, I speak to my destiny. Open up the power in the earth that makes it to yield will make my destiny yield because it's now been invested in the name of Jesus. Are you getting that now it's important to understand this so that you will now understand what the Bible means by saying the Sun shall not smite you by day how does the Sun smite you who uses light to smite you evil spirits but because you have the name of Jesus you can speak and say in the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against me, whether by light, whether by water, anybody who takes your name to a herbalist, you don't also need to go and carry water or fire. Now, I'm not pleased with all due respect to the body of Christ. Every man of God is at liberty to practice whatever revelation he has. I'm not by this. Let me put a disclaimer. I'm not insulting or downplaying or demeaning. No, 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 no. I'm teaching you the truth as superior revelations from the word of God are we together I have acknowledged that these are elements that were created by God and that there is a dimension of God's power resident within them and that they are conduits for manifesting the supernatural but the advantage that the believer has in Christ today is this name we have been given now you will respect what was put in the name of Jesus so here's what he says silver and gold i do not have in other words i can't tell you go and wash in siloam i can't tell you go and do this but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus the name that has that power i will not need to say wait in bethesda until the steering of the water when the angel came in john 5 he steered the water and whoever entered the water was healed Jesus himself put sand in someone's eyes. I don't need to go and start putting sand in people's eyes today to be healed. Are we together? All I need to do is to speak over your job, speak over your life, provided it is in the name of Jesus. I release that power. So, when I am walking my laws, learning all the laws that bring prosperity, when I bring the name of Jesus to those laws, I empower them to produce. On their own, there is a dimension of God's power. But now, added to it, I have said in the name of Jesus, whether you pray on the food you are eating or not, it already carries health within it. But now, I give thanks. Because there is a devil, there is an enemy who can also manipulate the spiritual laws. Listen to me, believers. The greatest investment you have for your victory is that name the power was invested in the name jesus went through all of these things and today we do not need to consult mediums or consult elements to get power the most superior approach for the believer is to understand the power that is in the name of jesus when i get up in the morning and i see the sun shine i know that is empowering plants and animals and all of that but listen to me even if i remain in darkness for one year i still will not die because there is a name are we together the effect of what that son would have done that name can do to me are we together now yes i do not need to go and bath seven times respectfully speaking like now nah, man except if it comes as a prophetic instruction from god but classically as i'm speaking to you that the believer's advantage today is in the name healing in the name
prosperity in the name lifting in the name speed in the name even the communion that you take is in the name the communion itself does not have any power it is a name that is invested in it that empowers it otherwise you are just taking maybe a, a drink and all of that the anointing oil that you hold it came from a plant connected to the earth connected to water connected to light the anointing oil on its own does not bring you any miracle except the name is invested on it is someone learning so if i forget an anointing oil at home and say ah, i don't have an anointing oil don't worry did you forget the name that is the trouble many have carried the oil and forgotten the name Mary carried water and forgot the name. Are we together now? Now I'm saying this to help the body of Christ. We're in the school of power. Listen, when it has to do with power, thank God for water, thank God for light, thank God for all of these things. But the name of Jesus Christ has been exalted above everything and it's been given to the believer as an inheritance when you have that name with it you will command strange possibilities and watch this that name is able to manipulate even elemental forces to walk towards the favor of god's people in other words i can stand and speak over an atmosphere where there's drought and say rain in the name of jesus i declare you begin to fall on this land that rain will obey me why because i'm coming in the name of jesus Jesus is not a creation. He's not a creature. He is the creator himself. Is somebody understanding what I taught you tonight? God has all power. Now he's given Joshua Selman that power. I will not go and stand in front of a river, respectfully speaking, to consult and say, what will my destiny look like? Now I'm not insulting you. If that is the pathway you choose, that is fine. But there is a more superior way that in the name of Jesus, I can say by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost was given to me to lead me and guide me to understand the ways of God. And I can walk in it and walk with exactitude and precision. Are we together now? Yes. I can say in the name of Jesus, help us to find out the cure for this and that. And God himself, watch this can lead you to those elements now please hear me i need to balance this as we wrap up i am not teaching that engaging any of these elements in itself is sin the inventions that we get in our hospital is god leading men back to the trees to combine formulas that treat malaria that treat all of this are we together now yes there are times i've prayed for people on water there are times I've prayed for people on their oil. There's, there are times that people come by faith. They just hold a bag of sand and say, Apostle, pray on this sand. There's no time explaining anything to them. Their faith has been connected to it. I just lay my hands and say, in Jesus' name, go in peace. Because when they come and as they keep learning the ways of God, they will now see that there is a more superior approach. By this teaching, you should not go down and start insulting people and say, see what you are doing. You are still using oil and water and that. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I will still use oil on you. I will still use whatever it is that God leads. But I am telling you that the power is not in the oil. Now, today, my confidence is not anointing oil. My confidence is not water. My confidence is not communion set. As wonderful as that is. Are we together now? Yes. My confidence is in the name of Jesus. If I lay my hands on that oil and you use it and it produces results, it is not because of the oil itself. It is because of the name of Jesus. Anybody who does not know Jesus will have to depend on those elements on their own and then sadly for many in partnership with demon spirits. Now, witchcraft operates in this manner. These spirits understand how to manipulate these formulas and they come and meet men. They said there is a cure for something in the village. Bow to me and I will show you the cure. So someone will come and bow to the devil and you say combine this leaf and combine that leaf. And the person will start doing it and start providing solution. And you'll be called the herbalist in the city and you'll make money from it. Like the lady with the spirit of divination. It brought money to their people. You would have called that prosperity. But when someone came in the name of Jesus... He said in the name of Jesus and he seized control of that and an end came to that. 
Anybody who uses the sun, anybody who uses fire, anybody who uses water against you is only wasting their time. That only works if you do not understand the power in the name. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? With the name that you have, you do not fear manipulations of water, manipulations of this. So there can be water spirits, there can be demon spirits, there can be all kinds of spirits in the air, there can be manipulations with fire. But my confidence is that I'm coming in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what is conjured against me, that no enchantments against Jacob. I don't need to also go and start pouring water and drink. No, no, I've become an herbalist. That will even become an embarrassment to the authority of that name. How many people have the name here? When you come into Christ, among the many things that you are given is that name access to that name but it works by revelation it works by revelation watch this if a habali stands now and pours water in front of your compound and is shouting some some someone and pours water and throws it away you should not get afraid and say hey he even held water no remember what i've taught you they are playing with all these five elements but you have the name of jesus you have authority over that thing now you know what happened that benson idahosa i think he was or one of these people when they slaughtered an animal and kept it in front of him they went and cooked it and, and ate it or so if you use any of these elements some of you go to your offices and you see blood pepper salt all kinds of demonic things and you panic and run away no remember these are elements and they are only as powerful as your ignorance allows them now the name of jesus that he's given you listen with one command with authority now if you don't know what i have taught you and you are just shouting in jesus name you will waste your time and that time will work let me tell you the truth many people have not got this revelation and they've just carried bold face for nothing and they died like chickens the strength of the name of Jesus is not in pronouncing it like a chant. It's in the understanding. This is what gives us confidence. Hallelujah. I have held many charms with my hands. Many. Usually when people want to, when people are repenting or confessing, they carry all these charms that they got from several places. And I say, bring it to me. Because they don't know what to do with it. And they warn them, if you keep it in your house, it will be the negative version of the act of of God in the house of Obed Edom. And so I said, bring it, I know what to do with it. Tear that nonsense into pieces and throw it away. I will not do that just by bold face, it will kill you. Listen, I'm saying this to you because I want you to walk out of this place knowing that I have power. As you obey the laws of the kingdom, expect it to work for you. The laws of prosperity, the law of honor, all of these laws, but in addition, know that i have the name of jesus and whatever spirit wants to manipulate my life and destiny i can stand in the name of jesus and speak that everybody who has used water against me anybody who has used the sun against me anybody who has used the earth to make pronouncements i stand in the name of jesus and i declare that it, the effect is nullified that is the prayer we are going to pray for one minute can we pray that prayer for one minute rise up everybody say in the name of jesus Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every manipulation from the air, from fire, from water, from the earth against my life and my destiny in the name of Jesus, let it be nullified now. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. I come by a superior manifestation of power. Power over the earth. Power over elemental forces. Power over water. Power over trees. Power over the sun. Someone pray. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. 
Hallelujah. Listen, please look at me. Give me a minute and we're done. Hear me. So, the Bible says, if they drink any deadly thing, is that in your Bible? That someone puts poison in water and say, let him take it and die. There is a covenant you have that you can even, it's not about just avoiding to drink it. Whether you drink it, that there is something the name does. Are we together? Yes. The same way water separates itself from death and it can live. You will be surprised that you are, it means water should not kill anybody. There are diseases called airborne, waterborne. You see, it ought not to be so because that air and water was created for the advantage of the believer but manipulated by demons. I should not drink water and die. I should not eat food and die. They were not for my destruction. They were manipulated by the devil. No wonder the prophet said there is death in the pot. Today, right now, the devil has manipulated all kinds of foods and now you almost don't know what to eat again because it looks like there is death in everything. Fear not. Walk within the advice of medical doctors. But can I tell you, shout the name of Jesus on that plate and eat well and go to bed. Are we together? Yes. I can go somewhere and get the water. I don't know who produced it. I don't know his covenant with the devil. But from the time it entered my house, loyalty changed. The bag of rice that comes to my house, I don't know who said it. In fact, if somebody prepares some, I'm saying this because there is so much fear in believers. Who prepared this? Who put this? Ah, I'm about to die. You are going to live a frustrated Christian life that way. It is the evil you know that you fight. What of the one you do not know? There are many believers who cannot do, it's out of fear. Somebody innocently can give you a wristwatch and say, uh -huh. you see, he gave me a wristwatch. This is a programming for delay, please please and you may be right but what is the advantage of your presence what is the advantage of the name there are many restaurants that we may go and eat in you don't know what the people believed you can't sit in fear all the days of your life apostle what if somebody wants to kill me it's not what if there is somebody on earth that wants to kill you for sure i can tell you that for free your immunity is in the name your immunity this is a summary of my message we are in the school of power your immunity is in the name that for as long as you stand in that name no divination and no enchantment and you can speak to elemental forces and i assure you by god that they will obey you give jesus a big hand clap your prayer now breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe shema salia barada sing breathe lord breathe lord breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life turn it into a prayer tonight breathe lord Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified.
In the name that is above all names, there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now. I decree and declare, I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly. Father, you gave me this song by the Spirit, and you said upon singing it, the Spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies. Therefore, I stretch my hands at the count of three. May this fountain break open. One. Now, take that grace now. Bring them out. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Breathe, Lord. I 
receive, I manifest, I manifest your, power, your power, your wisdom, till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation. And the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women. Women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now! Be released now! Be released now! Be released now! Lama Shabakas Kobarakusiata, Egreka Pascalika Parusiata, every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft. At the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One. Two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Be released. Exalted. Exalted. Exalted, exalted, lift it up, lift it up, we lift you up, exalted, 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 breathe low, breathe, breathe low. The Lord is about to breathe upon those trusting God for employment. I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors. Right now I stretch my hands. Let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three. Father, where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest His power, His wisdom Till the nations see Jesus lifted up Exalted till the nations see Jesus Lift your voice and say, Father Shout it again, say, Father in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that everything you have for me, I receive tonight. Go ahead and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray with understanding. Pray with power, fire, passion. Everything you have, the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors direction illumination i receive tonight by your spirit someone pray
Sati Bakata Parako Shabranda Gebelekes, Sky Zabazasika Paranda Shavra Sebelekatas, Emprata Kaparaka Tafraska Dabalakata Brenda Gebelekes Kapreta Gebelekatosh. Those following from across the globe, pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you. Receive by faith. The Bible says, Now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, Let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brandeke berekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the Living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing 
all that see my prophetic word, all that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. Shake a parakatos diatabat. Sabranda geberekos, salakos geberekos. Sane semelekos, sabrakate balakos yata. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, Salabarekatosha Prendega Berekusiata. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything. Anything. Water turning to wine is only a sample. It is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent. It says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen, visible, now, current, are temporal. That under a certain condition, the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else. Say, Father... One more time, say, Father, everything in my life that is not your will, let it change tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Everything in my life, everything in my life that does not look like you, everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me, everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint, someone pray, let it change. Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Shalika barakas kapraka tosiata, ekraka tefras kapela kosiata wada kosiates. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Look up, please. In the court of law, when a verdict is given and it is against you, and you feel that justice was not meted out, there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah he said pack up your load he said, god almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man Put your house together, you will not recover. Ezekiah said, I respect you, prophet. You leave. He turned his face, knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. That in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause manifesting as negative patterns let the mercy of god overrun and overturn open your mouth and pray let mercy we appeal by the mercy of god that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of god that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over causes. Mercy over.
over ill speakings that even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight. Jesus hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 and god remembered noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged verse 2 it says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time God remembered that there was still a man. If this rain continues, even the man I'm trying to preserve, that evil will eventually destroy him. There is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve. While it was rising, God remembered for the sake of Noah, I have to stop this flood now. You are going to pray. There are certain evils that have prevailed. But now that you have come, you are going to say, Lord, remember that I am your son. Remember that I am your daughter. The Bible says, which of you, whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish? and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember Noah, remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that would follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said god himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can i tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of god and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you 
whose child will pass him for bread and will give him his cake, or will pass him for meat and fish and will give him his And God remembered Noah. And God remembered Noah. There are men who can forget. And it is a terrible thing when people forget about you. I have taught you here. One man forgetting Joseph added two years to his calamity. Hallelujah. The king forgetting Mordecai left him at the gate. So only God knows how long. But the Bible says that night could not keep the husband asleep. And he said, bring me the comfort. We are still going to pray over this remembrance. The memory of men can fail them, but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance. That includes your destiny helper. He can bring to remembrance that you said in January this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power. What has stopped you from acting? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There was a very interesting story in the Bible. It's the story of the fig tree. The Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs. And Jesus was hungry. And he saw a fig tree. Green. Very inviting. And he went there hoping to get figs. And the Bible says not finding figs. He cursed it and said no man eat of you again. And by the next day, when they came there, the Bible says they saw that it had withered. You're going to pray. It is dangerous to not bear fruit. John 15 and verse 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Fruit here talks of results. It matters that you produce results. Can I tell you, the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry, you bear fruit in business, you bear there are many fruitless Christians. They are born again, they are saved, but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for. If you do not bear fruit, you are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible, listen, listen, listen. I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful especially fruits like garden egg and then you give it a bite only to find worms inside has that happened to you that you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um, you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin you're going to pray everything fighting fruitfulness in my life in whatever manner i curse it tonight by the god of heaven go ahead and pray everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry fruitfulness in destiny fruitfulness in career I curse it by the Spirit of the Living God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Shalika pas kebran deke bereka tosiata.
Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you. All the resources that you need. Usually, motion, listen to me, motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there. For instance, if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it, the building remains at the level of your last supply. If it is 10 years, it remains there. But there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment. Are we together? You are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Helakosa kreska barakatos yatabarandas. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner. Go ahead. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Now, verse 11, shout it with all your heart. Give us this day. One more time. Give us this day. If God said this day, may your lack of faith not make it this month. May your lack of faith not make it next year. Listen, he said, give us this day our Amen. there is something called daily bread daily bread bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour it means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day 
God is that meticulous. He said, you already said you, he, you called him father. That means for every day of your life, the moment you are waking up, the angels are positioned. They have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there. But I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house you may not receive it we are going to pray this prayer give it to us again verse 11 give me this day my daily bread lord by faith and with every sense of gratitude i cry give my family this day give my ministry this day open your mouth and pray you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer lord give me this day send me help from zion this day all that it takes for my efficiency Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. say father in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that everything you have for me I receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion everything you have the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors direction illumination i receive tonight by your spirit someone pray Don't 
those following from across the globe pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you receive by faith the Bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of God there remaineth a rest for the people of God there remaineth a rest for the people of God it says let us labor to enter that rest labor to enter that rest labor to enter that rest we labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brandekeperekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the Living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing. All that see my prophetic word. All that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. Shake Parakatoski Atabat. Sabran 
Dege berekus, alakus, keberekus Sanese melekus, abrakate balakus yata All that here will laugh with me All that here will rejoice with me In the name of Jesus Christ Salabarekatos, kaprende keberekus yata In Jesus name we pray Next prayer point You have taught my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy watch this if water can be turned to wine it means pain can be turned to joy if water can be turned to wine it means unemployment can be turned to victory even in terms of employment the 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 listen the idea there is not just water turning to wine the idea is the power that can make anything become what god says anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory hallelujah hallelujah look up please in the court of law when a verdict is given and it is against you and you feel that justice was not meted out there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah he said pack up your load he said, god almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man Put your house together, you will not recover. Ezekiah said, I respect you, prophet, you leave. He turned his face, knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. That in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause, manifesting as negative patterns let the mercy of god overrun and overturn open your mouth and pray let mercy we appeal by the mercy of god that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of god that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses. Mercy over ill speakings. That even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight.
the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Once upon a time, the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of man had reached the heavens, that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth. And there was such chaos and catastrophe. The Bible says the heavens gave up their waters. The earth gave up their waters. Every one of the then inhabitants died. They perished in that flood. Except Noah, his wife, the three sons and their wives. But then the Bible says the rain continued. The flood continued, but something happened when God was about to bring it to a stop. I hope you know that it did not just stop because God wanted it to stop. Let me show you. Genesis 8 verse 1. And God remembered Noah. This is why the rain stopped. And God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and god made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuage verse 2 it says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time God remembered that there was still a man. If this rain continues, even the man I'm trying to preserve, that evil will eventually destroy him. There is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve. While it was rising, God remembered for the sake of Noah, I have to stop this flood now. You're going to pray. There are certain evils that have prevailed. But now that you have come, you are going to say, Lord, remember that I am your son. Remember that I am your daughter. The Bible says, which of you, whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish? and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia. And the Lord remembered your business. And the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that would follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said god himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can i tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of god and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and god remembered noah and god remembered noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you i have taught you here one man forgetting joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting mordecai left him at the gate for only god knows how long but the bible says that night could not king ahazaroth sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them, but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance. That includes your destiny helper. He can bring to remembrance that you said in January, this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power. What has stopped you from acting? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer
let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There was a very interesting story in the Bible. It's the story of the fig tree. The Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs. And Jesus was hungry and he saw a fig tree, green, very inviting. And he went there hoping to get figs. And the Bible says not finding figs, he cursed it and said, no man eat of you again. And by the next day when they came there, the Bible says they saw that it had withered. You're going to pray. It is dangerous to not bear fruit. John 15 and verse 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Fruit here talks of results. It matters that you produce results. Can I tell you? The world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry, you bear fruit in business, you bear there are many fruitless Christians. They are born again, they are saved, but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for. If you do not be a fruit, you are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible. Listen, listen, listen. I've eaten a few fruits in my life. And there are a few of them. You can see the fruit looking wonderful. Especially fruits like garden egg. And then you give it a bite only to find worms inside. Has that happened to you? That you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin you're going to pray everything fighting fruitfulness in my life in whatever manner i curse it tonight by the god of heaven go ahead and pray everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry fruitfulness in destiny fruitfulness in career i cause it by the spirit of the living god go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. 
hallelujah when you drive there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering one is called the brake the other is called the accelerator when you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator are we together and the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time lord accelerate my life that is the prayer you are going to pray many of us you are not experiencing stagnation but you are too slow everything about your life is too slow lift your voice and cry to the god of heaven accelerate my life make sure you pray with understanding i can't waste my destiny accelerate my life oh god Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Hela kosa kreska berekatos ya tabarandas. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner. Go ahead. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven now verse 11 shout it with all your heart give us this day one more time give us this day if god said this day may your lack of faith not make it this month may your lack of faith not make it next year listen he said give us this day our there is something called daily bread daily bread bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour it means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day God is that meticulous he's that you already said you he you call him father that means for every day of your life the moment you are waking up the angels are positioned they have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there but I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house you may not receive it we are going to pray this prayer give it to us again verse 11 give me this day my daily bread lord by faith and with every sense of gratitude i cry give my family this day give my ministry this day open your mouth and pray you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer lord give me this day send me help from zion this day all that it takes for my efficiency Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give 
me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.